Good afternoon. Whether you're taking a walk with a mate or standing in a queue to get a paper, I'm sure you're all going to be talking about the feel of the weather this week. The easterly winds have arrived. It took its time. It actually was a drizzle and sleet first thing this morning. Give it a couple of hours, though, and this is what arrived. Yes, some snow across Kent and into parts of Suffolk and Essex as we speak. And the accumulations are already starting to tot up. So there are two issues with our weather at the moment. This keen easterly wind, bitterly cold, coupled, yes, still with the tail end of Storm Darcy, which is producing the threat of strong blizzard-like conditions as the winds are very noticeable indeed and some significant snow close to the coast. So this is what's been happening over the last couple of hours. The Met Office still have this amber warning in place, not only for today, but also running up towards Monday lunchtime. So we're going to start to see accumulations, perhaps in excess of 20, 25 centimetres, not out of the question, maybe more. So pretty miserable here, Blizzard-like conditions, gale force gusts of winds on exposed coast, but a windy scenario generally across the country. But for the rest of us, for the rest of Sunday, it's a case of sunny spells and scattered wintry showers. Most of those showers will start to push further inland, but sheltered western areas, you should escape the worst of them. Temperatures are going to start to struggle, though. This afternoon, we'll see a maximum of two to four degrees, but you've got to factor in the strength and the direction of the wind. It'll probably feel more like minus four, and it's going to get colder still. So let's move out of Sunday into Monday. Monday, still plenty of isobars on the chart. Still that keen easterly feed coming in off the North Sea. Still the risk of further snow showers. And what could potentially happen is we'll see organised bands of showers filtering their way in from east to west. So sheltered western areas, particularly western Scotland and Northern Ireland, you may escape the worst of them. But those showers could start to tot up with snow accumulations. And again, the temperature's really struggling, colder still perhaps on Monday. Monday afternoon feeling more like minus four to minus six degrees out there. So as we move out of Monday into Tuesday, across southern parts of England, the isobars will open up, hopefully fewer showers around and slightly lighter winds. So the emphasis of the showers pushes across northeast England and eastern Scotland. Again, sheltered western areas should escape the worst of any showers. A little more cloud down to the south. And again, a still a pretty grey, drab day for many with those temperatures really continuing to struggle. As we move out of Tuesday, we need to keep an eye on that weather front, which may well just introduce some snow for a time across the Isles of Scilly and the Channel Isles. That moves away. By Wednesday, the isobars open up and the winds fall lighter still, with a subtle change in direction. So fingers crossed Wednesday will be a quieter day, a sunnier day, and hopefully because the winds are easing just a touch, although the temperatures are not going to suggest a warm day, it might just feel that little bit better. Now, as we move out of Wednesday into Thursday, we've got high pressure blocking in Scandinavia and it's preventing weather fronts from pushing in from the Atlantic. So where the two meet, that's the dividing line between the mild air and the cold air, there could be some snow on the leading edge, but it does look potentially as we head through the week, it will get a little bit quieter and a little bit less cold. That, I'm afraid, is about the best I can offer you. Bye-bye.